There will not be a link in the description for this picture. I'm not sure why I'm thinking about leaving. So anyway, this is RC Guy Garage. With the glass smoothness, with the glass smoothness that I'm seeing right now, perfect, perfect conditions to go ahead and rip the H120 and to show you kind of like the differences of an offset rudder versus a centrally located rudder. Now this boat I'm kind of deeming as my recovery boat. Still not quite sure how I'm gonna work that. I've got to figure out like a tow rope type of deal or something. Something that can make it so that I can recover uh, my boat in the event. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. In the event of basically what just happened. If you haven't seen that video, go check out that video. There's gonna be a link. Over there? How does this work? Over there or over there? There's gonna be a link um, to almost losing a boat and an expensive camera. So anyways, uh, let's rip this. Um, the heck is this? Forget who, it, DRC. This is uh, the H120 from DRC. I don't even know. Hopefully I've got enough battery. So just rip this little boat. Now what's cool about this is the battery can stay plugged in. This is also that kind of boat, truck and go. Whoa. Ready? Here goes a right turn. Oh. All right, here we go. Ready? Full speed, right turn. Left turn. See? When you have a centrally located right turn, bam. See how deep it digs in? Left turn. Oh, I kind of dug in deep that time, too. See, it's just different. Watch right turn. Right turn kind of wants to stay there. This particular boat, I want to say don't buy it. I mean, it's a boat. Maybe if you can get it for like 30 bucks or something like that, maybe have it for like a uh, pool or something. Or even this. But it's just not balanced right. The steering is off. I think that's speed based too. This one is not as fine tuned as that green boat. The green boat is meant. See? I think the balance has to be fixed on this thing or something. Now pretty much going straight. Look at it, it's off again. This one is definitely sensitive. This one's almost more like a toy. <laughs> there we go. See, it like goes one way and then goes the other. That's left turn, full bore. Here's right turn, full bore. 
with that central lo central located prop i mean our uh, rudder it just doesn't work it's not as good it's got the proprietary battery do you know what i mean like that's why i was kind of thinking i could use this as a recovery boat but that might even that might not be a good idea <laughs> I think this boat's gonna be a pots boat. <laughs> a pots boat. Yeah, see, it's just like tilted. And then all of a sudden it'll not go straight. That other boat's where it's at. Save your money. Save your money and get that yellow boat, man. Yeah, this is a pots boat. <laughs> yeah, nah. Nah, this is a pots boat. <laughs> this one is a pots boat. <laughs> All right, that's it for today. I keep, I, I still want to run that other boat. Oh, wait a minute. I can run that other boat. I brought more batteries. Oh, I forgot. So anyways, this is RC Guy Garage, and I'm going to go ahead and run that other boat. You know, the boat that I said, buy it now. There will not be a link in the description for this particular boat. I mean, if you want to, if you want to get it, that, that, that's up to you, but I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, just no, don't, don't, don't buy this boat. Just don't. I mean, who am I to tell you? Yeah. Anyways, I'm out ripping it up at the uh, swamp spot or local watering hole and uh, just having some fun with some boats. What are you doing today?